I think we need a, an abuse register in the sense that um, following a tragedy that occurred in my constituency, um, we need to start protecting not just um, victims, stroke survivors of physical and mental abuse, but we also need to protect their siblings. Well, it would need national legislation, so I envisage that it would follow very similar to the sexual abuse register that's laid down by a parliamentary act. It puts a number of obligations on an offender once they've gone through the criminal system, i.e. gone through the courts. What would happen is that they would have to tell the authorities, probation, police, we would share that information if they start new relationships or if they move from area to area. Um, you know, normally there are lots of things that we don't agree on in terms of politicians, but there are times when we can come together and say what, where we do agree and there's a consensus of moving forward. The trouble is we've got no powers in the London Assembly or even the Mayor to deal with this issue. We need to ask government. And that's why it's special, I think, when you've got all party support. But more importantly, we've got a number of people coming on board. So we've got uh, lots of voluntary sector groups that support victims of abuse and we've got actually uh, survivors and victims coming forward to say look we think this is quite a good idea and it's worth pursuing.